take control of your user's email signatures and disclaimers, Exclaimer Signature Manager Exchange Edition solves this problem. The powerful features available within this Microsoft Exchange 2013, 2010, and 2007 product enable you to centrally manage corporate email signatures and disclaimers for all your email users. This video will show you how quick and easy it is to set up and how millions of users worldwide are already benefiting from the fantastic features in Exclaimer Signature Manager Exchange Edition. Immediately after downloading, the Setup Wizard will launch. This simple step-by-step -step process will help you to create your very first signature and disclaimer policy within minutes. Firstly, set up your first policy. Conditions simply allow you to specify which messages have signatures and disclaimers added. The setup wizard will automatically default to the sender and recipient being the person who is logged in. This enables you to test the policy by sending an email from and to yourself, but sender and recipient can be changed within the console itself at a later stage. Signature Manager Exchange Edition has a number of templates for signatures and disclaimers for you to choose from. Select one that fits your organization, and that's the setup done. If you think none of the templates fit your brand, simply create your own. Just click Finish to launch the Exclaimer console, where you can make more adjustments, change logos, and add extra policies. The console uses a classic tree structure, so you can navigate the program easily. The top of the tree is where all the administrative settings are managed. For now, though, we will concentrate on the policy we created within the setup wizard. As an example, we're going to rename the policy for our sales team to use. We will also add a more detailed description. You can now edit the template to include your company branding. Double click anywhere in the content pane to edit that section. For example, to replace logos with yours. When you're happy with the changes, click Save. The Advanced Smart Table function within Signature Manager Exchange Edition allows you to suppress certain fields if data is missing. For example, if an employee does not have a company mobile, rather than his mobile number leaving an obvious gap on the email signature, the Intuitive Smart Table function automatically suppresses this empty field so that it won't show at all. Within the Signature Options tab, you will notice a checkbox at the top. Don't add signature if already present. Select this option if you do not wish to add a signature. For example, during an email conversation where there are multiple replies. Signature Manager Exchange Edition can also intelligently handle encrypted and signed messages without breaking the signature, preserving the original message intact and delivering it to the intended recipient. Now add conditions to your policy. These determine when disclaimers and signatures are applied to a message. We will change the sender information to an Active Directory group. In this case, we will choose our Sales group. We're also going to change the recipient to anyone that is outside the company. The condition is highlighted below. We have ours set so that any email sent from sales to an external recipient will contain the sales department's branding and signature. You can set exceptions along with your conditions, which specify when a disclaimer or signature is not applied to an email. For example, our sales team sends a monthly newsletter which is already in a branded template with a disclaimer. We want to exclude this so the disclaimer and branding are not added twice. You simply stop the disclaimer and signature being added to our mail when the subject line contains monthly newsletter. It's as easy as that. The date range tab allows you to set a specific date or time range for any policy. This allows you to show your sales promotions during specific time periods. You can choose to set the policy to run between specific dates or use the advanced schedule feature to specify particular dates and times. We're going to set our policy to show our sales promotion during working hours only.
Signature Manager Exchange Edition has an advanced policy tester, which allows you to visually test your policy before you deploy changes without having to send a test email. We're adding Walt from our sales team as the sender and one of his clients as the recipient. Now we run the test. You can view the outcome of the policy test as a simple flow diagram. It's displayed with a yes or no indicator so you can see if the policy was applied. You can also view the message at any stage by clicking on any part of the diagram. Remember that we wanted to exclude the monthly newsletter from having branding and a disclaimer added twice? We can test that this will work. Add monthly newsletter to the subject and run the test again. You can see the exclusion being applied. The signature and disclaimer have been excluded from the message. Great. One of the most popular features of Signature Manager Exchange Edition is the ability to view the exact content of the outgoing mail, including the signature and disclaimer, in your Sent Items folder. This allows you to keep an accurate record of the email that was sent, even though the changes were made on your Exchange server. To do this, we make sure the Enable Sent Items Update checkbox is selected. There are a number of advanced options within this tab that enable you to control this feature further. You can now send an email from Outlook to test how this works. You'll notice here that the signature and disclaimer are not included in your email before you press send. But you can check your sent items folder and hey, there it is the final completed email including signature and banner.